So you have a cell phone with unlimited data and you have a big screen TV. All you want to do is connect the two together. But I'm convinced that the TV networks, the cable internet providers, and the cell carriers are all conspiring to make this not work for you the way you want it to. But I've come up with a solution and it's really simple. <laughs> So first, let me describe the equipment that I have trying to make this work. I have T-Mobile cell service with unlimited data. The key thing to note is that that cell service does not allow unlimited data if you're sharing a hotspot. Second thing I have is a Vizio 60-inch high-def TV with smart cast capability. I also have an Apple TV 4th gen. And what I'm trying to do is connect to Netflix YouTube TV or DirecTV Now or any of the other TV streaming services in order to watch TV with no expense on the data usage through my cell phone. And in case I need it to make it work, I've got a Netgear router, a WGR614 version 6 to allow me to set up wireless connectivity internal on a network. So you would think with all of these pieces of equipment or even something else I might need to purchase, I could come up with a way to make this work. Let me show you some of the challenges that I went through to try to find the right solution that would make this work. The first obvious solution that I thought would work was to use Vizio SmartCast. The reason why is because I have a Vizio TV, it comes with the SmartCast app, and the app allows a mobile device to communicate with the TV and cast the screen, as well as running as a remote and other functions. In order to run SmartCast, you have to do two things. The first is to go to the input menu on the TV and set it to cast. And the second is to download the SmartCast app. When you select cast from the menu, it comes up with a screen that gives you two options. You can set it up with your remote or you can set it up with the SmartCast app. So I'm going to choose that one. Then on your iOS device, you can choose the Vizio SmartCast app and download it to install the application. Now the first sign there might be a challenge with this is when you get to the next screen on the monitor and it comes up and asks you to connect to Wi-Fi. But that makes sense because you may want to connect your iOS device to the TV with the Wi-Fi network in order for the communication to work. The problem is I don't want to use the Wi-Fi network for regular internet because I'm trying to get away from that. I want to use my cell phone's data. Now I can share a hotspot for my cell phone, but that's going to use the data that's not unlimited and free. So I'll go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi in order to do the updates to the system that, it, that it's asking for. That's fine. But once that's done, I still need to connect to a Wi-Fi in order to continually use my device. This is where the Netgear router comes into play. I have a Netgear router that allows Wi-Fi access but does not actually connect to the internet. So I figured I can use the router to connect my cell phone wireless and the TV wireless together on the same network in order for the screencasting capability, even though I don't want to use the internet through that device. So I connect to my internal Netgear switch and I get the connectivity to work, but no matter what I attempt to do, I continue to get an error trying to cast any information onto the TV. Even the apps inside of SmartCast that you can run from the TV itself won't work because they require an internet link. In getting hold of support at Vizio, you can look on the screen and you can see this information on their support page. Highlighted in yellow, it says, currently the iOS is not supported for screencasting. Now this might work for you on an Android, but I have an iPhone. But at this point, with the SmartCast app, it doesn't look like I can make this option work. The next option I wanted to try was Apple TV with AirPlay. I already have an Apple TV, part of another streaming service. So I thought, this has got to be the right solution. It has the ability to cast to the screen using AirPlay. And it's made for the Apple. AirPlay is a built-in option on your iPhone, and if you slide up from the bottom of the screen, you'll see the Apple TV option on the menu that you can turn on casting with AirPlay. In order for that to work, you have to be on the same network. 
That can be set up a couple of different ways. You can establish a wireless network and connect the two devices on the same network, or you can actually share your Apple TV as a Wi-Fi device and connect your cell phone to that device with its internal Wi-Fi capability. So the first option I tried is to connect to the Netgear device that I mentioned earlier. So I go into the Wi-Fi settings on my phone and I set up the Netgear Wi-Fi device. And I've walked through the Apple TV configuration to connect to the same Wi-Fi device. Now this is getting close because I'm able to actually cast my screen. I can see my cell phone display. I can actually run apps and see them on my TV in large format. So the first problem I recognized is your streaming services don't work because they don't have cell access and my Wi-Fi network doesn't have any internet. So how is the phone supposed to get out and connect to any kind of online service in order to play a video or stream any data? You can't do it, but there's a quick fix for that. Taking the cue from some of the network engineering background, I was able to go into the settings for the Wi-Fi device that you're connecting to, which does not have any internet, and you can change the settings and make this work. So you'll notice on the IP configuration, you have an IP address and you have a subnet mask, a router, and DNS. And the router and the DNS is what allows the Wi-Fi to connect out externally through your router into the internet in order to pull data down. Well, what we don't want this to do is use the local router because that does not have internet access. So what we need to do is fake it into thinking that that does not allow internet and therefore it directs it back to the cell service on your phone in order to pull that data. And there's a simple trick to do that. Take the IP address that you see on the DHCP tab in the settings on the Wi-Fi device and the subnet mask and click on the static tab and enter those same IP addresses in there, but don't put in the router in the DNS settings. With this combination, you're able to connect to the internet through your cell and connect to the internal Wi-Fi settings on your network to talk to your TV with AirPlay. Problem solved. Well, not so fast. Now you got one other issue that's coming up. I can show anything that comes from my phone, except when I go to streaming TV services. For example, see what happens when you go into Netflix. I can play TV on my phone, but the moment I choose AirPlay and enable it, it says now playing on your TV on your phone device. And this is what you get on your TV, a spinning circle that never goes away and you never get any video. What I've concluded after trying a number of different solutions for this is that it basically broadcasts the display processing to your TV so that it uses your internet link in order to make the display work. So it's skipping using the cell phone service and going straight to the internet through your network. And there's no way to force it to go back through your cell in order to make that work. This is why I think everyone's conspiring against you to make this work the way you want, because it works fine when you have it on your phone. And all you want to do is be able to display that screen on your TV. But the moment you turn that option on, the AirPlay apps detect that you're trying to do that and shift the internet focus over to the TV or your internal network in order to make that work. So Apple TV with AirPlay. So what do you do? You can't use a SmartCast with a Vizio TV and you can't use AirPlay with an Apple TV. Well, I have an option that does work. After trying all these different solutions, trying configuring on the network, trying all these different options, different ways, what I concluded is you go with the hardwired solution. And this thing right here is the trick. It is a lightning to HDMI port cable. What it allows you to do is plug in the lightning port on the bottom of your phone and then plug the HDMI cable into the other end and run that straight to your TV. It actually takes the image that you have on your phone and presents it in full screen on your TV. You don't even have to worry about the formatting. It handles that all just fine. So as long as you've got your cell data service with no cost because it's streaming to your phone, this will actually connect it and make it work on your TV. And this solution's worked well for me. I've been able to connect up to Netflix, DirecTV Now, to YouTube TV, all of those different options for streaming services, and uh, they display everything just fine.
I've provided a link to Amazon uh, below this video in the description area. So if you want to find it yourself, you can do that. It's not cheap. It's about $45, but it does work well. And uh, hopefully it'll work for you for the same reason. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.